One of the biggest things for all divers is to be able to travel the world to see amazing locations. And we do get asked this a lot. Why do you guys travel all the time? Do you guys ever get sick of it? And for us, the answer is no. You get to travel to amazing, far-flung, unique places in the world. For example, we've just arrived in Little Cayman. Arriving at a little quirky airport, walking along that dock to the dive boats for that excitement to go out and explore a new reef, a new location, a new culture, a new world. And you guys are ready to enjoy this beautiful dive we're about to experience in Bloody Bay Marine Park in Little Cayman. Welcome guys to Blue Horizon Diving as we go explore the beautiful reefs of Cayman Islands. We are back in Little Cayman, but this time, not just for a day. As you know, a few weeks ago, we came across on the boats for Cayman Brack with Kids Sea Camp. But this time, I'm here just myself. And we are so excited to spend a few days here exploring this amazing reef structure of the Bloody Bay Marine Park. As you can see, we come across this amazing, huge pillar coral. It's the biggest one in the Caribbean. It is believed to be over a hundred years old, which is insane to think how long that's been growing there. And we move along the wall, a bloody bay wall, and we come across a hawksbill sea turtle cruising along. Now we just had an amazing week in Cayman Brack with Kids Sea Camp. And we had a week off. Holly is headed back to Bermuda to head towards Australia to start her university studies. And for myself, I had the week off before heading to St. Lucia to run my final two weeks of the summer for Kids Sea Camp. And what a pleasure it was, because Margot, a family divers, decided, do you know what, Mark? You deserve a little holiday. So she flew me to Little Cayman to spend a few days there and then Grand Cayman after to see the other two resorts in the group. And I was so happy to go and spend a few days staying here and diving this amazing marine park. I mean, look at it. What more can you want? Massive schools of fish. Right ahead of us, we have a school of Bermuda chub. We had schoolmasters, we have small mouth grunts. This dive site is incredible. We're dropping to the swim through down at the mixing bowl to head off Jackson's Bite off onto the wall. Now we're coming across from Bloody Bay Wall onto Jackson's Bite right now. And you remember maybe last week when we had the dives here, the swim through got very silty. You could not see anything coming through it. So this time I dropped down, sat waiting at entrance, let the guy drop in first, and then I dropped in after to make sure there was no silt out this time so our guys could take you through one of the best swim throughs in the Caymans. And you can see why. Dropping down, look how clear it is this time. It doesn't look like a fog with headlights on this time. It was beautiful. And we drop down and it throws you out around about 30 meters. And you just end up seeing that incredible drop into the abyss and the blue, because it drops down further and further. It was spectacular. Then after running back across the reef, we drop back into the sand patch. And I was so excited because the barracud were back in their numbers and they were everywhere on this dive. Chilled with the divers, swimming around, maybe about 10, 11, cruising around here. So cool to see. And you're probably wondering, if you're out diving here on your own this time, who was the other divers on the boat? They're all in red shirts, they were matching. It's actually a group from Florida called the Active Divers Association. It's a club inside Florida 
I never hear the same time I was. We're diving, exploring the reef. They had a young boat and an old boat as well. So a good mix of divers of different ages, which was really nice to see. And them all hanging out together, which was awesome to see. But as we continue moving around this amazing dive site of the mixing bowl, which I absolutely love, you can see the schools and schools of Sailor's Choice. There's NASA groupers, we had Barracuda, turtles, there was just so much life here. And honestly, if I could have to come back somewhere in the Caribbean, it would definitely be the Roatan, Bonaire, or Little Cayman, or Cayman Brac. The reefs are beautiful there. The marine life is in huge numbers, large biomass, variety of marine life, and it just gives you hope that there's some amazing diving still to experience in the Caribbean. So I cannot fault this, I absolutely love this. And for me, the next stop is St. Lucia. You guys are gonna be loving that as well. Cannot wait to go there, I haven't dived there for a few years. But the reef, I heard, is in amazing condition. And if it's anything like Dominica was, you guys are definitely gonna to want to stay around for that. So don't forget to make your next dive on the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, share our videos out to show more people the amazing underwater world. And as always guys, thank you so much for staying around. Hope you love this video and we will see you in the next video in St. Lucia.